everyone, so today I'm going to be doing a video of products that I use wrongly. So now what I mean by that is not necessarily that there's a wrong way to use these products. These are going to be a group of products that I like to use in ways that are different from their original intention. Um, a lot of the times there are products that I really don't like um, for you know what they're supposed to be, but I find alternative uses for them that makes them more usable for me. So I decided to kind of like gather up all the products that I use in a way different than what they're intended for and let you guys know how I use them. So if you could take a minute to like this video, please do so. It helps me so, so much and let's get started. So one thing I always try to keep in mind with makeup products is I try not to be wasteful with things that, with as much as I possibly can. So if there is a product that I bought and I just don't like it for its intended purpose, usually I will try to find an alternative like purpose for it so that I can still like use the product and get my money's value out of it and things like that. And if that doesn't work out, then I try to like give away as many products as I can to like my friends and family and stuff like that just so that they don't get wasted because that is like my number one pet peeve with makeup of products in general. So the first kind of group of products, these are going to be eyebrow products. So these are um, eyebrow pomades, eyebrow pencils, and then the one that kind of like really started off this whole video is this um, Korean uh, product called the eyebrow tattoo. This is actually one of those things that like you paint onto your eyebrows, um, you leave it on overnight and it will like tent your eyebrows and your skin a little bit. Um, and then you like peel it off and you're supposed to have like really nice brows. So um, I do have to say I have a couple more of these. I have like one other brand, but I didn't really care for that one as much. This one's from the brand Secret Key. It's called Tattoo Eyebrow Tint Pack. Um, I really like this. Um, not necessarily so much for doing my eyebrows as it's intended, but I did actually end up using it like that for the first time in quite a while. And um, I kind of re-remembered that I liked this a little bit more. But the way that I love using this so, so much, and honestly, it would last me forever if this was the only way I use this. Um, I like to use this product to create like a faux beauty mark. I really like that because um, I have this teeny tiny freckle on my face, but like it's so like insignificant you can barely ever see it. So I like to use this to kind of emphasize it because I like the look of like the beauty marks and things like that. So um, how I basically use this is I just kind of scoop off a lot of the product so that the brush is just barely coated. And then I do just a little tiny dot and I leave that on overnight. And then um, in the morning, it's like literally just like this little flake that you can kind of just like scratch off. And it leaves a tiny bit of a tint or um, kind of like a mark to your skin. And even though I've never actually used it as like a full over kind of faux um, freckle technique, I think for beauty marks, it works great. You can even use it on um, existing beauty marks that you have if you want to kind of like um, darken it or make it look more um, noticeable. And since I'm literally using a tiny bit of the product, this would honestly last me forever. But that's one of my um, favorite ways to use this product um, other than just for eyebrows because it does give like a um, slightly longer kind of result. I would say for like a beauty mark, this usually lasts about two days depending on like how much I wash my face. It's definitely not a permanent um, thing at all. So you can like really have fun with um, doing different beauty marks or freckles or anything like that without having to worry about like actual staining to the skin. And then for the other products goes with the same thing with the eyebrow pomade and the um, eyebrow pencil. Again, you can kind of create a faux freckle um, or beauty mark kind of look with these, but these of course are going to be the least um, permanent of all because it's obviously just makeup and it's gonna wash off so um, I really like that because um, it's like a no commitment type of thing if you want to try to do faux freckles and things um, I guess that's kind of like a big trend for the past few years has been faux freckles I used to have freckles when I was a kid like I had so many freckles but they've just kind of like faded over the years so I don't really have as many freckles as I used to so the next product I use wrongly is um, this foundation this one's actually kind of old now so I'm almost done with it but it is a bit on the old side this is the L'Oreal magic nude liquid powder. So this was like a foundation that came out years ago and it literally has the um, consistency of like water. Um, but when you mix it or actually when you apply it, it kind of dries to a powdery finish. So I never really wanted to get rid of it. So the way I found to use it is um, just to use it on my under eyes whenever I have fallout. So if I've already got my face makeup on, which 99% of the time I do because I like to do my face makeup first, um, it can be really annoying whenever you have like um, eyeshadow fallout and stuff like that. So this I find is super easy because it's so lightweight. I can just kind of um, apply it right under the skin and kind of like dab it in with my beauty sponge and it doesn't add a whole lot of extra product under my eyes, especially if I've already kind of like set it with a powder. I find that with a tiny, tiny bit of this, I can get away with kind of cleaning 
cleaning it up a bit without really caking up that area or disrupting too much of the product that's already there. So the next product is one I have talked about a million times in my videos and this is the Rose Hip Oil for Measurable Difference. I finally finished up my um, Amaranth one and I really love it and I want to go buy another one but I do want to finish this up as well. Um, but aside from just using this like on my face to like super hydrate my skin and really kind of um, keep it nice and moisturized, I like to use this for so many other things. You can use this on your body, you can use this on your hair, you cannot use it on your cuticles um, just because you know it's such a good hydrating oil. But one really um, different kind of use that I have for it that I never really thought of before was to use it to kind of rehydrate my cream products that are kind of getting like a little bit not necessarily like dried out but if they're starting to kind of change texture just a little bit. So for example is my brow pomade from BH Cosmetics. I love this so so much. This was like so inexpensive. I think it was probably like I don't know maybe six dollars or so and I have had it for about two years now and it's going so strong because um, I have been putting just a tiny drop of the rose oil into it um, whenever it kind of starts to kind of dry up a little bit and you honestly only need literally like one drop and so the way I find that it works best is if I put one kind of drop in it and like let it set overnight and then it kind of like rehydrates the product a bit and makes it a little bit easier to kind of like smooth on um, to my eyebrows without it kind of like dragging or anything like that and I wouldn't necessarily recommend this for something that you're going to be applying like directly to your eye area for example like a cream shadow if you have one that's kind of um, drying out I probably would steer clear of like putting this in that just because um, you know oil around the eye is not really the best thing ever but for like eyebrow products I find it works great I also like to use this for like um, cream blush products that I have if they kind of start to get a little bit dry um, I find that it's a perfect way because it's not going to like create more bacteria or anything like if you were to mix a water into it it could potentially grow mold or bacteria but with an oil you won't have that problem and again, I think it works best for products that are kind of like just starting to dry out. If you have like a completely dried up product, I don't really think it's going to revive it that much. Um, but it has worked wonders with this eyebrow product because this honestly has lasted me so long. Um, but it does have these kind of moments where it'll start to kind of dry out. And if I hadn't have used the oil, I probably would have had to throw this away by now. Um, and this is just like my holy grail brow product. It's so inexpensive as well. But again, going back to the whole I don't want to waste a product kind of... Um, I guess philosophy that is one reason why I uh, love using that oil so much so this next one I've talked about before as well I think I talked about it in my um, makeup tutorial that I did trying to use the least amount of products I could so I did a lot of products that would be um, like multi-use products and of course I've mentioned this one this is the Sephora Pantone radiant orchid cream blush so again if I wanted to like kind of rehydrate this a little bit if it started to kind of dry out I could use just a tiny drop of this oil and it would totally like save that but I also like using this as like a lip and a blush kind of product so I use that for both products today I used it on my cheeks and it looks so nice and then I also used it on my lips um, I find that this color is so pretty and it doesn't like look um, crazy on the cheeks if you apply it in the right way but of course you can get like a super full pigmented color on the lip and in my opinion there's very few like products that um, work actually really well for both products usually I find that um, it's either too wet for the face or too dry for the lips and on the flip side of that you could always do the opposite and use a lipstick as a cheek product which I've done a whole bunch of times as well usually I like to use more of like a cream or a matte finish lipstick rather than one that is um, more of like a glossy uh, kind of finish for obvious reasons but also if you need to like pack super light you can totally use products like that um, that will serve multiple purposes the next one is another product that is kind of can go both ways so for me this is an eyeshadow this is like one of my favorite eyeshadows ever and it also makes a really amazing highlighter so this one is from hard candy it's the fierce effects in slow and steady these come in duos and these like look exactly and feel like the L'Oreal infallible um, um, pressed pigments. I love those as well. These are like literally like half the price and you get two of them. So um, the other color that comes in this one is kind of like a shimmery brown kind of taupe color but this one is so perfect for a highlighter. It is so soft and so pretty. It's what I'm wearing today for my cheeks. Um, it definitely is for more of people that want a little bit more of like a dramatic highlight. You can definitely sheer it out though so you don't have to like be too wary of it but it honestly looks so nice on the skin especially if you do like a more intense kind of look. So that's what I use today and then of course you could always um, do the reverse and use a highlight 
highlighter as an eyeshadow. So going along with the whole eyeshadow thing, this was one product that I got from my BoxyCharm box from the month of May, and I actually really like this a lot more for eyeshadows than I do for like face products, because it is a bit deeper in complexion for me, um, especially the bronzers. I can definitely make them work. I did use them today as well, um, but sometimes they can be a little bit harder to work with because they are a bit more pigmented and deeper than my skin tone. Um, so like eyeshadow, these work absolutely amazing for eyeshadow, especially since I feel like this color here is the darker highlighter. I feel like that one's just a little bit too deep for my skin, but it makes a perfect eyeshadow color. And I used that one today. And I also used another product that I got from BoxyCharm that I ended up not liking for its original purpose, and that was the Tardis Liquid Highlighter. So this is a liquid highlighter that you would like apply to your cheeks or like all over your face or something. But for me, it was just too glittery. It had like little sparkle speckles in it. And on my face, I do not want like little glitter particles. It's just not a look that I'm into. But I loved using this as an eyeshadow base, especially if you're going to use more of like a shimmery champagne kind of color. I find that that worked so well. It reminds me a lot of the Urban Decay Primer Potion in the color, I think it's called Sin, the like champagne-y kind of tinted one. I find that if you have this product and you don't like it for its intended use, definitely give it a go for your eyes, especially since it does have a little bit of that glitter kind of stuff into it. I feel like it just works better for an eyeshadow product to begin with completely. So I'm really surprised that they launched this as a liquid highlighter and not an eyeshadow product, but um, I find that it works so much better for that. And especially since it's not too liquidy, it has a more creamy kind of rich feeling on the eye. So I find that it just works so much better. So this is a product that I would have honestly gotten rid of had I not used it in that way. So I'm so glad that I can uh, find another use for this one. So those are all of the products that I use wrongly. Of course, there are so many other ones. You could use like a foundation as a concealer or use a concealer as a foundation. There's so many things that kind of go both ways. Um, so let me know if you have any products that you use in ways that are, I guess, um, not their original intention, even if it's like outside of beauty. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe. You can follow me on Instagram. Link is below. And until my next video, I will talk to you guys later. Bye.